College Board 10, calculator allowed number 24. So the first thing we see is a graph here. It looks like a scatter plot with a line of best fit. And I notice that the line of best fit has a positive slope. Now let's read the scenario. So it says the scatter plot above shows the number of registered voters X and the number of people who voted in the last election Y for seven districts in town. Um, so basically what we see is that we have a positive association between the number of registered voters and the number of people who actually vote. Um, a line of best fit for the data is also shown. Which of the following could be the equation for the line of best fit? Well, if we have a positive slope, it's probably not gonna be A. And it's probably, likewise, not going to be C, because these have negative slopes, so not A or C. So we're picking between B and D. And the best way to, to typically do this is try, try to find two points on the curve that we know the coordinates for, and then use those coordinates to just plug into y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So the first point that I'm going to pick out here trying to pick things that are like exactly on the grid just to make my calculations easier and to eliminate the need to kind of guesstimate these values. So because these are exactly at grid points, uh, 120 comma 60 I know is exactly right and uh, 220 comma 110 is exactly right. And I'm going to compute my slope as a y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. And that's going to come out to 110 minus 60 over 220 minus 120. And that comes out to 50 over 100, which is equal to 1 half. So a slope of 1 half is the same thing as 0.5, and the answer is B.